The Science Centre Singapore SCS, previously known as Singapore Science Centre is a scientific institution in Jurong East, Singapore, specialising in the promotion of scientific and technological education for the general public. With over 850 exhibits spread over eight exhibition galleries, it sees over a million visitors a year, and over 25 million visitors up to the year 2003 when it celebrated its Silver Jubilee. Topic. History The Science Center was carved out of the National Museum of Singapore as a separate institution so that the latter could focus on its artistic and historical collections. This idea was first mooted in 1969 by the Science Council of Singapore, and was subsequently approved by the government which was keen to promote scientific education in the rapidly modernizing country so as to tap into the technological sector. The SCS building's architecture was decided by an architectural design competition organized by the Science Center Board. Raymond Wu's entry was selected, and he was thus commissioned as the architect for the project. Built at a cost of $12 million on a 60,000 square meter square feet site in Jurong East, it was officially opened on 10 December 1977 by Dr. Toh Chin Chie, who was the minister in charge of the Science Center Board. In 1987, the centre saw a significant expansion with the opening of Singapore's first and only Omnimax theatre, the Omni Theatre. Costing $18 million, it has a 276-seat theatre underneath a 23-metre tilted dome. In 1999, a $38 million renovation expanded the center's exhibition space, and created a new entrance as well as open-air exhibition areas and a direct connection to the separate Omni Theatre building. In 2000, Snow City, a recreation of a minus 5 degrees Celsius 23 degrees Fahrenheit environment in tropical Singapore, was set up beside the Omni Theatre. On 7 December 2007 in the year of its 30th anniversary, the centre rebranded itself as the Science Centre Singapore SCS. Topic. Observatory Topic. Location The Science Center Observatory is situated at 1.3342 degrees north 103.7357 degrees east, 1.3342, 103.7357, and is 15.27 meters 50.1 feet above mean sea level. It is one of the few observatories in the world located next to the equator. Its unique position allows constellations in both the northern and southern celestial hemispheres to be observed and thus opens up more vistas in the sky for observers. The observatory is endowed with a range of sophisticated facilities as well as a classroom for astronomy lessons, slide shows and public talks. Topic. Telescope. The main telescope of the observatory is a 40 cm Cassegrain reflector of a combined focal length of 520 cm The sub-telescope is a 15 cm apochromatic Kepler refractor with a focal length of 180 cm the equatorial mount for the telescopes was designed for Singapore's unique location. The accompanying English yoke provides the stability needed for the drive and tracking mechanisms. The 5.5 meters (18 feet) stainless steel dome can be made to swivel in any direction and its shutter can be made to slide open for the telescope to be focused on to interesting objects in the sky. Topic. Stargazing sessions The observatory has been open to the public for stargazing sessions every Friday night since June 2006. 
The opening hours are from 7.50 to 10 p.m. The observatory can comfortably accommodate 50 visitors per session. It is important to note that stargazing through the observatory telescope is only possible when the sky is clear. However, regardless of weather conditions, the staff will be present. Topic. Relocation plans On 4 April 2008, the Urban Redevelopment Authority announced plans to relocate the Science Center next to Chinese Garden MRT Station in 10 to 15 years. During his speech at the National Day Rally 2014, the Prime Minister of Singapore, Lee Hsien Long said that by 2020, the Science Center will be relocated to the north shore of Jurong Lake, beside Chinese Garden MRT Station. Topic. See also List of tourist attractions in Singapore